What is up everyone? Patrick here, Nowhere to Go Show. As you can see, direct in front, we're gonna be opening up some more Obsidian Flames. Uh, you may have saw my last video, uh, which was opening these two booster boxes with Rial and Kalen, uh, the friends over, and uh, we pulled some amazing hits. I'll show you a quick recap of just the, the major hits. I'm keeping them in here for now until I get my um, binder, which I, I'm, I plan on getting today. So let me grab these, the ones that are sleeved up. Well, we got the Vespa Quinn. Technically, I pulled that from my one build in battle. That nine tails. We did pull a Golden Energy Fire, the Mel Mattel EX, which I actually love the, the Lightning. I think that's such a good looking card. The Palafin, which is so great. And actually, afterwards, Riel and I, uh, he created some decks and we uh, actually battled with the, some of the cards. And he had a Palafin deck that was excellent. Ice Q, there's that Vespa Quinn EX, like that Full Art Pidgeot. The Glamora, River of Room, that Tyranitar Electric type, that Pidgey, which we all say the art on that is probably one of the, the better ones we've seen in a while. It's so good. Palmots, of course, the Charizard, absolutely stunning. Uh, the Gita, so we did pull a Secret Illustration Rare Trainer. We were pretty excited about that. The Scizor doing the anime pose. Of, oh, that's so cool. Absolutely love it. Pidgeot, Dragonite, um, of course, Dragon type. Maridon, Toad Scroll. We did pull a Rhyme, Full Art, and Absol. And of course the Belly Bolt, which we thought was cool, how the hollow kind of lights up on his belly too. And that was, that was super neat. And so uh, we're just super excited. I'm about to jump into this third booster box. Uh, there's been some great art in this set. And um, pretty excited to see what we can pull today, see if we can pull one of the other uh, Secret Illustration Rares. So I've got some sleeves ready. Of course, my hope is anywhere between 11 and 13 hits. That seems to be the average, though I have seen some people pulling 10, but not pulling anything bad by any means. There's just only 10, so I wonder if Pokemon Company is doing this on purpose, they, if they even know what they're doing. Either way, pretty exciting. I'm going to get right to it. Um, and yeah, I'm going to take them out, so I'm going to mess with them too much. We'll see how these do. All right. So if you haven't yet, again, go watch that last video if you want to see some of those pulls, even though the camera died out. And if you haven't, leave a like on this video. I appreciate it. And subscribe. It takes no time. It's I'm amazed by the support y'all have given me. There's another code card for you. And I appreciate y'all to no end. And uh, love y'all. But we're going to start with a basic. And then we got a Daramaka, a Buizel. Bounce Sweet, this set has some great art, some action. I always like the action where they look like they're doing something. Toad Scroll, that Soul Rock, that Doug, Hound Doom Parallel, Heat More Parallel, and a Skull Villain. It's the first Hollow Rare. So, let me just put these to the side. So, we did pull the Charizard I wanted. Of course, there's still two more rare ones, and there's still a regular Terra type um, EX that looks pretty good. That, um, of course, in the past, I always say I like to collect all Charizards. So I've got majority of them that have all come out, except the, like, crazy ones. So outside of those, yeah, we'll see. Swablu, Glimmit. The more I can pull, the less I have to buy separately. Pupitar, the Jetic, Dolliv. Ooh, and the Rip of Room EX as the secret illustration rare. I wonder if that'll be our one illustration rare of the day look at that i think that is actually way better looking in person i saw some pictures but the contrast of the color and being a car i've been into a lot of twisted metal uh lately the show came out an absolute ex excellent adaptation and um playstation online had the first two and blacks for sale so i was like i'm gonna go for it platinum one and two working on black right now so very exciting awesome pool I'm very excited. That's our first pool of the day. And there we go. <laughs> so let's see if we can go back to back. The crazy thing about the last video again, if you haven't seen it, it's absolutely insane. It's right when my camera died. My next five packs were the hardest hitting uh, cards probably of, of the whole night out of the two booster boxes. Diggersby, camera ups. Ooh, that King Gambit parallel. Wow, and a LeChonk. So we are going back to back. That is super cute. I love LeChonk. Not necessarily as, uh, in, in use, but I just like the design and, and the idea of LeChonk 
and they're like, don't worry, it's, it's pure muscle. Holy cow, very nice card, very exciting. So back to back, two hits. Let's see. Code for you. And we'll go ahead and actually just get the energy. So we got Tad Bulb, and there's the LeChonk, love that art. Barboach, Wiglet, that Ninetales, Poltegeist, Toad Scroll, ooh, Arvin Parallel, and a Charcadet Parallel, and a Decidueye EX. So three back to back, and we got it, the Decidueye card, number 15 of the regular set. Very nice, our first regular EX of the day. Tyranitar. I wonder if we'll pull, typically what I've seen is one of the, I guess they're, they're called hyper rares now. They're not rainbows, but they're just hyper rares and that'll be the gold cards. And it seems that per booster, you're almost guaranteed one Pidgey. I would love one of the other Pidgey lines, um, illust like illustration rares, Paldea, uh, Klotz, Malamar, ooh, Bisharp, Tynamo, and a Scizor. Okay. I knew we were gonna go four. That just would be unlikely. Code, energy, and God, I'm, again, I said in the last video, I'm so excited to see Cadaver back in 151, which really we're about a month out on, <laughs> which is crazy. And this set just came out. Scyther, Pupitzar, ooh, and that Entei. Uh, but even still, I, I, I'm, I love the idea of, you know, you're celebrating the original 151 again. I get it. But we just had a 25th anniversary celebration. We do all this all the time. We're saying we want some other regions. Give me, you know, Johto or something. Just celebrate that. I think there'd be a lot of fans that are absolutely in love with that idea. And just to see more of these these clever alt arts and these illustration rares. I think that I think that's the cool part I'm looking forward to is that you're getting a lot of these older Pokemon that never maybe got a lot of these alt arts, and they're getting these stunning work from these modern artists. Uh, some older artists who've been with the company a while, and they're just giving, it seems like Pokemon's letting them have a little more freedom, putting them in, again, action, putting them in their, in specific environments that maybe they would be in. And I think that's really cool, and they're kind of, Pokemon company's doing a great job of that. Charcadet, Pond, Lily, Cabrawler, Diggersby, Camerupt, Claude Sire, ooh, Charmander Parallel, Pidgey, and that's Scoville again. Tyranitar. I don't believe, again, I haven't really seen the full card list for this set. I, I try to be as, you know, outside of what maybe just it, on Twitter gets, you know, tweeted out. Then I'm like, oh, that card's on the set. That looks cool. I don't know if there's like a secret illustration rare for um, Tyranitar. Maybe the Dragonite. Bronzong. Diglets. Patrol Cap. And that Gita. We're still a couple days out from the official release. So if you haven't gotten any product yet, don't sweat it. My ga local game store, they just, they always do it. It's typically the Monday before. And of course, they do pre-release the weekend before typically, which is really cool, or even two weekends before, uh, which is really cool for you to get your eyes on it and actually start building those. Oh, we already have a pre-built deck, which is kind of nice. Drampa in a Scizor. And, um, and I think a lot of those game stores do it. So it's not like mine's only one. And I don't know if there's rules behind it. If you have to be a official, you know, Pokemon store where you can sell the product for X amount of time to get act. I, I really don't know the rules. Uh, because unfortunately there's people who already have like 151 ultra premium collections that are already on sale on like eBay. And that's absolutely insane. And that doesn't come out till October, I think for that one. Whooper, Star Grunts, and that Dark Rye. Okay. okay. We're nearing the the end of the first half. And we have those three back to back to back, which is pretty cool. If we can get at least five in the first half, maybe finish strong in the second. Water Energy. Togepi, Bonds, Dalev. Timmy, a little belly bolt, Trevenant, Electros, Larvitar, Clodsire Parallel, ooh, and a Glamora EX, 
as a regular, like full art. Again, I always forget the new names of them. I actually like the way the green and blue contrast each other. I think that's very nice. So there we go, it's our fourth hit. So we've pulled a little bit of everything except like a, a trainer. You know, we've got the EX, we've got a regular illustration rare, special illustration rare, and a full art. So we just need a trainer and a, and a hyper rare. If we get both those, I, I, is that kind of like hitting the cycle in baseball? Just one of everything. Litwick, Adino, Charmander, Chitini, Pidgeotto, Dragonair, Armor Rouge, Spoink, Togepi, and a Toga Kiss. That was cool, back to back. There's some great, great art. Obsidian Flames is, is a set that when I first heard about, I was like, oh, here comes another like just Charizard set. And I will say, I, I, I still don't want to say, I don't think it's out of the Scarlet and Violet so far. I, I can't decide what set I like best so far. I don't think Obsidian's it. I think art-wise, maybe just that base set. But and again, that's just where I'm at this moment. Pal Dave Ald had some amazing art. Sarskit, Numel, Grivard, Tyne, Flamigo, Bronzong, Beretic, Lily, Palpatode, and that crazy clay doll. That last video, we pulled so many clay doll. That was the majority of, of the hollow rares we pulled. I was like, oh my gosh. We did end up pulling one parallel, which is nice. All right. Code, good luck. Lightning energy. I'm going to start with an Oddish. That Finizen and that deck uh, Real made with the Finizens and, and Palafins is absolutely amazing and devastating. Larvesta, Grumpig. Ooh, and a Coridon EX. Very nice. I think we pulled the Moridon last time, so... Very cool to pull that one. Sweet. Now we're getting, I think the, the DLC, the first DLC was announced during the Pokemon Direct for next month. Part one, uh, Teal Mask, I believe is what it's called. So I'll definitely, uh, well, I think it comes out about the same time as Mortal Kombat 1, and I'm not gonna lie, I'm very excited for MK1. If, if y'all like MK1, let me know in the comments. Maybe we'll, we'll link up and, and fight and <laughs> just have a good time. Fans up. Vulpix, Froki, Daramaka, Charmeleon, Excadrill, Pidgeotto. Ooh, that Grief Heart. Ooh, that Gloom is stunning. So many colors, and you got the Weedle. Oh, my goodness. Scoville in the back, but let me take it. Oh, the colors on that is beautiful. That's way better than I thought it looked. I don't, I don't even know if I've seen this one. But even if I did the pictures online, I'd never do it justice. Gorgeous. Holy cow. Well, that's six hits so far. And we've got two packs remaining in the first half of this booster box. So we're doing very well. We're ahead of the curve, which might mean the second half might not be as strong. But I could be surprised. And we could end up with more than, you know, 12 or 13, which I think would be... I think I threw the energy. All right. Rhyme. Rock rough. Wig. Shuckle, Houndoom, always in a just crazy background. Brassius, Magnazone, Stoutland, Skarmory, and that Palafin. Okay, and the last pack in the first half is a Charizard pack card. Any telltale sign? If it's got a dark energy, maybe. Code card for you, hopefully you pull. It is a fire energy, well. Charizard originally is fire. Boizel, a bounce sweep, Magnemite, Larvesta, Dragonair. That's such a cool card. Armor Rouge, Arteca, Snubble, Gramble, back to back, and a Thunderous. And we're gonna move along into the second half of this booster box. I'm no doubt gonna pull some great hits. Six in the first. Very happy with that. Again, the only thing we haven't really pulled is a trainer or a uh, hyper rare. Get one of them gold cards. Fire energy. Almost forgot if I didn't throw it already. Pidgey, Litwick, that Young Goose, Charmander, League Headquarters, Lunatone, Serena, Steeny. Wow. Wow. And there we go. A poppy. And it's a secret illustration rare uh, with a Gita in the back. But look at that. Her taking a nap. That is so cute. 227 on 197. 
card looks pretty good too. I, I like the simplicity of it and the design. I didn't even know this card was in the set. Very nice. So that's two secret illustration. Well, one was a Pokemon, one is a uh, trainer. So cool, we got a secret illustration trainer. Just not a regular trainer, which if we can pull one of those two, would be great. Got my whole trainer binder that's nearly complete. I think I have, not counting this set, uh, maybe 10 trainers in total over the course of every full art trainer. And, and, that, and then one binder, and that's probably my favorite. That and the full art binder I have that I started with the Sword and Shield full arts because they have their own look. Scizor, Salazzle, and a Houndoom EX. So we're going back to back. That Houndoom is really cool. He's jumping out of the card. Very three-dimensional. Very reminiscent of old, old style Pokemon, which I also like. So I like the modern look of some of them and these crazy new direction they're able to go. But I absolutely love when something is old school like that. Houndoom. Ooh, and Pokemon Stadium, I think, is live now, too. Pokemon Stadium 2 is live on Nintendo Switch Online, which is super cool. Dratini, Oddish, Swablu, Glimit, Lycanroc, Probopass, Vengeful Punch. Ooh, that Vulpix. Mawile, and a Thunderous. All right. Very nice start to the second half already with two, two hits. Metal. What a drill bear. Cub Chew. Sprink. Tynamo. Patrol Cap. Blossom. The League Headquarters. A Varum. Rallet. And a Scovillain. Seems like there's not a lot of the regular hollow rares this set. Because I feel like it's like the same five or six. And it might be minimalistic in that way. Okay. Code with a psychic energy. And again, speaking of psychic, go get your Mew on Scarlet and Violet right now in, in anticipation for the Mewtwo raids that are going to be happening September 1st. I think the code is your, ooh, Parallel Ente, nice. It is your Mew, Y O U R M E W, but in the your, the O is actually the number zero, if I remember correctly. And the cool thing is you can randomize, get any of the terrestrial types with it. There's no guarantee, which is pretty cool. So everybody will be kind of something different. A little dark energy. Surskit, Daramaka, Froak, Bound Sweet, Lunatone in the Field, Serena. That Lycan Rock is so sick. So sick. Glimit, <laughs> Oink Cologne, and a Scizor again. Ah, there's some really cool, crazy looking art in this set. Tyranitar. All right. Toad for you, water for me. Squovets, Palpitoad, Zigzagoon. I feel like we haven't pulled a lot of that one. Scyther, and a Lanoon, same thing. Their Manitan, Dartrix. Okay. Ooh, a Chandelure. A Finizen Parallel, and a regular Poppy. Wow, so we have pulled a regular Full Art. Look at that, that's, that's so cute too. <laughs> With a little key bag. That's crazy, pulled both Poppies in one set. That is so cool. Very happy already with that too. So I wonder if there's a Hyper Rare in here, or if we pull, because we pulled two Secret Illustration Rares, if that kind of negates the chance of pulling one of those. The three Gold Stars. Not that I, I chase those, honestly. That's kind of my cards I least chase. Even in past, like they look great. They're definitely way better than the Rainbow. I, Rainbow is something I'd never cared to even pull. Even when I pulled like the Rainbow Charizard or the Pikachu from like Vivid Voltage or was it like Champion's Path? I'm pretty much, ooh, Cleffa sold them. Very simplistic design, but look how beautiful with the shooting star in the background. And love this card because you can just draw cards, no energy needed, it's so nice. And a Gita in the back, but look at this, Cleffa. Super cool. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. So I think we're at 10 hits, and we still got a handful of packs left to go. 
which makes me nervous that we might pretty much be done. Only maybe a couple more hits or maybe we can break that 13 and, and get just one extra. That'd be crazy too. Meltan, Charcadet, Ponyard, Lillipop. The Frogadier is a cool in-action pose. Stunfisk, Salazzle, another Stunfisk, but parallel. Bonsley parallel, and that Palafin. That crazy justice kick that if you can switch out uh, from the bench to active, it just is the only way to do that move, but it does 210, which pretty much outside of certain EX and, and things is one hit KO. Okay. It's a good code for you. A little bit of fire for me. Smolov, Vroom, Salandit. That's a cool one. Electric, I like that one too. Espeon. Sharpedo looking like it's about to kill Lanoon. That Thunderous Parallel, nice. Toxel Parallel. And the Entei, standard hollow foil. There we are, see? Got a few more. We're getting there. Got some good hits. Ooh, with a metal. Crabrawler, Clefairy. Caps a kid, just jumping through the air. Town store, I don't think I've really seen that. Whoop trio. King's gone, love that card actually. Whiskash, Flamigo, Adino, and the Vespa Quint EX. So that's a very nice card. We have pulled that through the build and battle, but very nice pull I can use for trade or, or just sell, you know, to get one of the other cards I'm, I know I'm going to inev inevitably need at the end of this. So very nice. Which is pretty good. I think every other card is our first time pulling it. So not really a lot of repeats uh, other than that Vespa Quinn. So definitely can't be mad there. And I'm never mad even if I pull duplicates of nice things. It'd be crazy to pull two of that regular Terra Charizard. Because then I'll be able to pick up multiple cards for that one. Magnemite, Eevee, Toad School, Darmanitan, Dartrix, Frogadier. Ooh, Umbreon Parallel. Nice. Lampant. And a Houndstone EX. There we go. Another hit. Okay. I think that's hit number 12. This this might be the end of the road. Who knows? That's really cool, though. Same thing, like, popping out. The little graveyard in the background. Super nice. Wonderful art. I'm glad I'm running out of space here. Because I'm, I just never know. Sometimes it's smaller, and I've seen people that, that get 10 hits. And that's it. Dark energy. Cryogonal, Togepi, Bonds, Dolive, Floatzel. Damn, Brown, so nice. Lapras, that's a really cool art, too. Soul Rock, Ponyard Parallel, and a Scovillain. All right. The Dragonite pack art. Again, if you haven't got you guys yet, um, please leave a like. It's, it kind of lets me know if you even like the content. Uh, definitely leave a comment. You know, let me know which what your pulls have been so far, or maybe just what your did I throw the energy? Let me check. Yeah, no, water. What you're you know liking most about this set, or maybe what you don't like, or you're looking forward to 151 more. Uh, me personally, outside of a couple art, I don't think I'm really going to dive a lot into 151 like pack opening. I'll probably get, I think I've got the ETB coming, like the, the Pokemon Center one. And then whatever other special boxes you can get, I'll get a couple. Outside of that, I'll just buy the cards I need singular. You know, there's, of course, like the Blastoise and stuff that looks so amazing. And that's kind of the big hope. There we go. Code. We have four packs remaining. Full fire. Little Tim Pole, Surskit, Numel, Grivard. Masquerade, Gumshoes, Pupitar, Pulty Guy, Shuck, and a Scizor. And with three packs, we're getting down to what we may be done. We may have one more. I'm hoping we have at least one more really nice hit. Still didn't pull a Hyper Rare. However, can't complain. We did pull two Secret Illustration Rares. Uh, which I don't recall that happening in my uh, Paldea Evolved or base set. But I could be wrong. Baltoy, Finizen, Larvesta, Fungus, that beautiful Kangaskhan, Whiskash, reminds me of Wario, Floatzel, Magnemite Parallel, nice, Zigzagoon, and a Greedence EX. Uh, so another nice 
again, I forget what you call them. There's a the, the double star on it. You know, they're not like the, the Vespa coin, but it's still like a very three-dimensional, really nice art. Well, wow. There's another. And the Obsidian Flames. Down to the last two packs. I'll never give up hope. Though I think we may have used all of our luck. Let's see. We got a Tynamo. Phantomp. Vulpix. Froki. Nogetic. Ninetales. Poltegeist. Trev. Shuckle. And a Toxtricity. So we're down to our last pack. Again, leave a like if you haven't. It means a ton to me. Subscribe. Uh, if you want to see more, definitely ring the bell. And just, again, let me know what you want to see. I, you know, any games you want me to stream. Like I said, I just played Twisted Middle 1 and 2 on Black now uh, with MK1 coming. And, you know, I always love streaming. It, it's pretty fun. Pidgey. And I've got a VR too, so any recommendations, let me know. Young Goose, Charmander, Last Pack, Umbreon, Lapras, Masquerain, a Lanoon with a Zigzagoon, and an Entei. But, you know, I'll show you these hits before I bid you adieu. Very nice uh, booster box. No Charizards, you know. For there being four in the set, you would think odds are you're going to pull at least one of them, but that's okay. So we can pull that Vespaquen, which we've seen before. That Plefa, really nice simplistic art. Uh, Coridon EX. That Greedent EX, very shiny. Houndstone, love the graveyard. I think it's one of my favorite EX so far this set. The regular Poppy, very cute. She's awake in this one. Houndoom, EX, very old school, old fashioned. Glamora, full art. Poppy snapping, she is uh, with a copper shaw. Very cute. Decidueye, EX. That Gloom, which might be my favorite illustration rare of the, the day. That's absolutely stunning. And, that, well, the Lechonk is, is, <laughs> is, there's a lot going on in it, but it's so just beautiful. And, of course, starting out was our Rev of Room EX. Very nice start in, like, the second or third pack. I'm very happy about it. So thank you again so much for watching. Stay tuned. We'll have more coming. I appreciate you, and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Bye-bye.